Good morning, Mr. Chair. Uh, it's already 10.11, Mr. Chair, and we can now formally start our uh, meeting. So, uh, for the roll call, um, kindly acknowledge once your name is uh, called, uh, our presiding officer for today, Attorney Roberto Martin Buenaventura. Present. Um, members, uh, Engineer Arnel Borlado. Ms. Amnives Gabriel. Uh, she is present online. Uh, Engineer Elmer Gomez. Present. For our provisional member uh, from the end user, uh, General Ricardo Banayat from CSIS. Sir, good morning. Sir. And from ADMS, I see uh, Engineer George is here from uh, HRMD. Mr. Wilmar Montero is also online. Also present, present sir. Also present in today's meeting, Mr. Chair, are the members of the Technical Working Group, Back Secretariat. And uh, we also send letters, uh, invitation letters for our observers from COA Resident Auditor, PCCI, NGO EBJFI, PICE, Internal Audit Service, PCAI, and PADPAO. So uh, five of the seven members of the committee, Mr. Chair, are present today, so we do have a quorum, sir. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, so with that, uh, considering we do have a quorum, let's proceed with the items in the agenda first. I think uh, first one, we have an opening of bids for the provision of security services for CAAP Area 8 under three-year service agreement. Do you have bids for this, Attorney Frank? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Um, be recalled, Mr. Chair, that the this is a reopening of uh, the submitted bids, the uh, bids of ALA Security Agency and GDS Security Agency um, were disqualified previously, uh, but uh, their motion for reconsideration uh, were granted by the Bids and Awards Committee. Thus, we do have uh, this uh, opening of bids for today, sir. We also have Mr. Chair, the representative of the bidders uh, for today, sir. Let's proceed, please. Okay, sir. Uh, Secretary, please kindly admit the uh, representative of the bidders. Good morning to our bidders. Welcome to the Bids and Awards Committee meeting. Uh, this is for the opening of bids for the provision of security services requirement for CAP Area 8 under a three-year services agreement. This is a rebid under bid number 22-013-10. And uh, for records purposes, uh, may we invite our bidders to introduce uh, your name and the company you represent. Please, we start with you, sir. Good morning, uh, Chairman. Good morning to everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Jay Yulo. I'm representing uh, Alas Security Agency. Good morning, sir. Ma'am, please. Um, good morning, uh, Chairman and Honorable Committee. I'm jo Jocelyn Yulo Visitation, representing Alas Security Services. Good morning, ma'am. And last people. Good morning. I'm Baby Girl Jasmine Comente from EDS Good morning, Paul, ma'am. Permission to Mr. Chair. Go ahead, please. Uh, by the way, Mr. Chair, uh, we'd like to inform our reader that uh, this proceeding is being streamed online via our YouTube channel. Thank you. So uh, we will reopen first the uh, bid submission of ALA Security Services Inc Incorporated. Uh, to the representative, sir, uh, kindly acknowledge if this is the sealed uh, proposal of ALA Security. Thank you, sir.
the submitted proposal of ALA Security Agency has tabings. Pagination and signatures or initials in each page. Checklist, please. Checklist for the technical component. Notarized checklist of requirements for bidders. Mr. Chair, as per record, sir, uh, a last security. Yeah, uh, for Feel Health uh, Insurance, Feel Health Insurance Commission certificate of good standing. Yes, sir. Secretary, please. We go. Okay. Um, number one checklist, notarized checklist of requirements for bidders. Notarized checklist of requirements. Um, signed by the authorized representative and also uh, duly notarized, submitted. One passport size photo colored with accompanying three signature and three initial specimens of the authorized representative, BF Form 1. BF Form, BF Form 1. Submitted. Notarized authority of the signing official, special power of attorney or, sec or secretary certificate. Secretary certificate. Authorizing Mr. Yulo uh, to represent on behalf of a uh, security agency signed by the uh, corporate secretary and also notarized, submitted. Notarized omnibus sworn statement when secretary certificate a spe or a special power of attorney is applicable, be a form 2. Be a form 2, omnibus sworn statement. Signed and notarized, submitted. Attachments, uh, documents as attachment to the omnibus form statement. Number one, certification under oath, attesting that they have no pending case or cases against the government. In addition to the eligibility requirements as prescribed under the 2016 Revised Implementing Rules and Regulation of RA-9184. Certification of no pending case against the government, signed. And also notarized, submitted. Legal clearance be issued by the CAP Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders against this authority. Legal clearance issued to a security agency, valid until June 14, 2023, signed for Attorney Roberto Martin Benaventura. Submitted. Notarized affidavit of undertaking that the PSA shall submit with the following criteria, BF Form 17. Be a form 17, affidavit of undertaking. <clears throat> Signed and notarized, submitted. Be bulletin number one and two. Be bulletin number one, dated December 13, 2022. And be bulletin number two, dated December 27, 2022, submitted. 
legal clearance to be issued by the CAP Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders against this authority. Legal clearance, valid until June 14, 2023. Submitted. Philippine or field job certificate of registration and membership. Certificate of field jobs registration, Latino membership issued to a last security agency, valid until October 19, 2023, uh, consisting of three pages. Submitted. Registration certificate from SEC, DTI for sole proprietorship or CDA for cooperative or any proof of such registration. SEC certificate of registration with registration number. A1998-14522, submitted. Mayors or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the respective bidders located or the equivalent document for ex exclusive economic zones or areas. Business permit. This is valid until 31 December 2023, issued by the local government of uh, Katbalogan, somewhere. Submitted. Tax clearance per EO number 398, series of 2005, as finally reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Internal Revenue, or BIR. Tax clearance valid until October 12. 2023 submitted audited financial statement for CY 2020 and 2021 audited financial statement stamped received by BIR April 16 2021 submitted certified true copy of the PSA valid and current regular license to operate as private security agency issued by the Philippine National Police Supervisory Office for Security Investigation Agency, or PNP SOSIA. Private Security Agency Certificate issued by PNP SOSIA with license number uh, PSA R08166426-4273, valid until January 31, 2023, submitted. Certified true copy of clearance of no derogatory record, certificate of no pending case as PSA issued by PNP SOSIA, which shall be valid during the submission and opening of bids. Uh, certificate of non-pending case issued by PNP SOSIA, valid until... Uh, 15 days from the issuance, which is uh, 30 days from the issuance, which is December 15, 2023. Submitted. Certified true copy of valid and current certificate of registration as contractor issued to the bidder by the regional office. Regional Office of Dole, where it principally operates pursuant to Department Order Order Numbers 174, Series of 2017. Certificate of Registration issued by the Department of Labor and Employment, signed by Mr. Halbuena, submitted. The statement of all ongoing government and private contracts, including contracts awarded but not yet started within the last three years prior to the deadline for the submission and receipt of bids, BF Form 3. BF Form 3, Statement of All Ongoing Government and Private Contracts, with signature, submitted. 
Statement of the Bidder's Single Largest Completed Contract or SLCC, similar to the contract to be bid in accordance with the ITB Clause 5.4. The SLCC shall be equivalent to at least 50% of the ABC, with the largest of these similar contracts being equivalent to at least 25% of the ABC and completed within the last three years. BF Form 4. BF Form 4, Statement of Single Largest Completed Contract with signature submitted. Financial documents for eligibility eligibility check or NFCC computation or a committed line of credit from a, a universal or commercial bank. BF Form 5. BF Form 5, NFCC computation in the amount of 63,387,984 pesos and 0 to centavos. With signature submitted. Bid securing declaration form as prescribed in GPPB resolution number 03-2012 or any form of bid security prescribed in BDS 18.1. Bid security in the form of bid securing declaration with signature and notarized. Submitted. Compliance or conformity with bidding documents as enumerated and specified in section 6, schedule of requirements and section 7, technical specification. Section 6, Schedule of Requirements, and And section 7, technical specification with signature and also with signature for section 7 submitted. Notarized certificate of satisfactory performance from at least three previous clients for the, for the last three months. Certificate of uh, satisfactory performance uh, from Petron, but J. Patrick and Jocelle on gasoline station offering the period January 1 to uh, December 1, 2021 to November 30, 2022 with signature and also notarized from Western Summer Marketing Covering the period December 31, 20, December 15, 2021 to December 15, 2022. Sign and also notarized. And lastly, from San Roque Lodge. For the period October 16, 2021 to October 15, 2022. With signature as well. And duly notarized. Submitted. Authority to conduct site inspection duly signed by ADG2, Chief CSIS, or his duly authorized representative, BF Form 6. BF Form 6, authority to conduct site inspection, issued last December 14, 2022, signed by Major General Ricardo Banaya, the Chief of uh, CSIS, submitted. Certificate of Site Inspection duly signed by the Area or Airport Manager or CSIS Area or Airport Supervisor or any Airport uh, Facility Officer in charge, BF Form 7, together with the following documents attached to the uh, Certificate of Site Inspection. Number one, photocopy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection and photocopy of the Airport or Facility Visitor's Logbook. Certificate of Site Inspection for Tacloban Airport. The inspection was conducted by uh, Mr. Constiniano, the company ID of Mr. Constiniano, and 
the visitor's logbook of Tacloban Airport with the entry name of Mr. Uh, of the person who conducted the site inspection. For Calbayog Airport, the certificate of site inspection conducted by uh, Mr. Jamer Sangkupan, the company ID of Mr. Sangkupan, and the visitor's logbook of Calbayog Airport with the entry name of Mr. Sangkupan. For the Katarman Airport, Certificate of Site Inspection conducted by Mr. Nestor Bokbok, company ID of Mr. Bokbok, and the visitor's logbook of the airport with the entry name of Mr. Bokbok. For Ormok Airport, uh, the inspection was also conducted by, by Mr. Costiniano, company ID of Mr. Costiniano, and the visitor's logbook of the airport with the entry name of Mr. Costiniano. For Maasin Airport, Certificate of Site Inspection, also conducted, the inspection was also conducted by Mr. Costiniano, company ID, Mr. Costiniano, and the visitor's logbook of the air airport. At the bottom, Mr. Costiniano, the entry. For Bilivan Airport, certificate of site inspection, the same was conducted by Mr. Costiniano, company ID, and the visitor's logbook. Also with the entry name of Mr. Costiniano at the bottom. For Catbalogan Airport, the certificate of site inspection. Uh, the inspection was conducted by Mr. Dino Habinal, company ID of Mr. Dino Habinal. And sorry, the visitor's logbook of the airport with the entry name of Mr. Dino Habinal. For Borongan Airport, certificate of site inspection conducted by Mr. Costiniano, company ID of Mr. Costiniano, and the visitor's logbook of the airport. Also with the entry name of Mr. Costiniano. For Givan Airport, Certificate of Site Inspection. Company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection, Mr. Costiniano. And the visitor's logbook. Also with the entry name of Mr. Costiniano from Alas. For Ilongos Airport, Certificate of Site Inspection, also conducted by Mr. Costiniano. Company ID and the visitor's logbook of the airport with the entry name of Mr. Costiniano from Alas. All submitted. Security plan duly signed by Certified Security Practitioner for Airport Our Facility. Security plan for Tacloban Airport. Signed by Mr. Yulo. Security plan for Calvario Airport. Also signed by Mr. Yulo. 
for Katarman Airport. Need signature for Ormok Airport. Also with signature. For Mas in Airport. Also signed by Mr. Yulo. And from for Believe an Airport. Signed by Mr. Yulo. For Katbalogan Airport. With signature and this is for Bogongan Airport. Also with signature for Giwan Airport. Sign. And lastly, for Hilongos Airport. Also with signature, all submitted. Company profile and, and organizational structure of private security agencies indicating the names of its key agency officers, BF Form 8, Company profile and organizational structure together with the CV. Submitted. Security management expertise and experience of key agency officers and personnel, including possible chief of operations for TAP. Security management expertise and experience of key agency uh, officers. With signature submitted. Latest monthly disposition report or MDR stamp received by PNP Socia for three consecutive months prior to the submission and opening of BID. MDR for... <laughs> For the month of September, stamped received by PNP Socia last October 14, 2022. For the month of October, stamped received by PNP Socia uh, November 15, 2022. And lastly, for the month of for the month of November 2022, stamp received by PNP Socia, December 14, 2022, submitted. Certificate of avail availability of the required firearms and ammunition to be supplied by the private security agency for firearms not yet available or under purchase agreement attached notarized letter of commitment from supplier to supply the firearms if awarded the contract bf form 9 bf form 9 certificate of availability of required firearms and ammunition with signature submitted certificate of availability of the required communication equipment to be supplied by the private security agency for communication equipment not yet available or under purchase agreement, attach notarized letter of commitment from the supplier to supply the communication equipment if awarded the contract. BF Form 10. BF Form 10. With signature. Submitted. Certificate of availability of the required transportation or vehicle to be supplied by the private security agency. BF Form 11. BF Form 11. Certificate of availability of required transportation or vehicle. 
also with signature submitted. Certificate of availability if they required other supplies, equipment, paraphernalia to be supplied by the private security agency, via Form 12. Via Form 12, Certificate of Availability of Required Other Supplies, Equipment, Paraphernalia, with signature submitted. Clearance Certificate, valid as of the date of submission and opening of deeds, where the principal place of business of the prospective bidders located, and agency documents indicating the latest payments. Number one, Social Security System or SSS. SSS Clearance. Um, signed by Attorney Marianne Chavez. Submitted. Clearance certificate from Home Development and Mutual Fund or HDMF Pag-ibig. Clearance certificate from Pag-ibig. Signed by Leo Lariaga, the branch head. Submitted. Clearance certificate from Philippine Health Insurance Corporation or PhilHealth. Certificate of Good Standing, signed by the uh, head of uh, PhilHealth in Katmalogan, submitted. Clearance Certificate from Bureau of Internal Revenue or BIR. Tax Clearance Certificate, valid until October 12, 2023, submitted. Certification of Pending or No Pending Labor Standards Violation Case or cases valid as of date of submission and opening of deeds issued by the following agencies pertaining to, pertaining to the provision of the security services. Number one, Department of Labor and Employment or DOLE. Certificate of no pending case from the Department of Labor and Employment. Submitted. Certification of pending of, or no pending from National Labor Relations Commission or NLRC. Certification of no pending case as of December 14, issued by the NLRC. Submitted. Notarized affidavit of undertaking via Form 17. Via Form 17, affidavit of undertaking Signed and notarized, submitted. Security survey report to be accomplished and tabbed per airport or facility, BF Form 13. BF Form 13, security survey report for Tacloban Airport. For Calbayo Airport. This is for Qatar Mine Airport. For Ormok Airport. For Mahasin Airport. Bilivan Airport. At Balogan. Bongan. G1, Ilongos, all signed by uh, the media representative, Mr. Yulo, submitted. Photocopy of official receipt or OR as proof of purchase of the bidding documents issued by CAAP. Official receipt? Issued by CAAP uh, for this uh, bid. Submitted. Supplemental or, su supplemental or bid bulletin, if any. Would be bid bulletin number one, dated December 13, 2022. And bid bulletin number two, December, dated December 27, 2022. Submitted. Sir, that would be all for the technical component. Mr. Chair, uh, the sub the submitted technical component of ALA Security Agency is initially rated as passed.
uh, the last bid is from GDS Security. Uh, representative, please, ma'am, can you acknowledge if this is the resealed uh, proposal? Thank you, Pa. Uh, All right, uh, Attorney Frank, maybe we can explain to them. But before that, I uh, just want to emphasize that this was deliberated upon by the BAC. And whatever decision the BAC has achieved, this was uh, due to proper uh, examination of the documents. And if you wish to uh, question this decision, you, you are free to do so via protest with the Board of Directors. But we will disclose the reason, uh, Attorney Frank. Yeah. Uh, the reason, Mr. Chair, and uh, to the committee and to, uh, to Allah Security is that uh, GDS was allowed, uh, I mean, the certification that was submitted was uh, acceptable, deemed acceptable by the committee, considering that uh, the very essence of uh, securing a certificate of uh, good performance is that uh, to be able to ascertain whether that security agency is performing well or okay as to the standing in its previous uh, uh Contracts and uh, considering that they are also existing contracts uh, provider, security provider, uh, the certificate was uh, issued was also uh, the same as that. Uh, I mean, states that they are also existing with more reason that the committee can validate the um, good performance or satisfactory performance of the security agency. Let's put that on record, uh, Attorney Frank. Yes, this is no dead, sir. Ma'am. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, permission to proceed, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, please.
So the submitted proposal of GBS the security uh, security agency has tabbings, pagination, and signature in each page. Checklist, please. Checklist for the technical component. Notarized checklist of requirements for bidders. Checklist of requirements. Bid signature. And also notarized. Submitted. One passport size photo colored with accompanying three signature and three initial specimens of the authorized representative, BF Form 1. BF Form 1. Submitted. Notarized authority of the signing official, special power of attorney or secretary certificate. Secretary certificate authorizing uh, GDS security and uh, its representative, Mr. Benedict Sun. Uh, to participate uh, and sign and perform other acts in relation to this uh, bidding activity issued by the corporate secretary and also notarized, submitted. Notarized omnibus sworn statement with secretary certificate or special power of attorney is applicable via Form 2. Omnibus sworn statement, signed and notarized, submitted. Sorry. Documents as attached to the omnibus sworn statement, certification under oath, attesting that they have no pending case or cases against the government, in addition to the eligibility requirements as, pres as prescribed under the 2016 revised implementing rules and, and regulations of RA 9184. Certificate of no pending case signed by the authorized representative and notarized, submitted. Legal clearance to be issued by the CAP Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders against this authority. Legal clearance issued last December 14 and valid until June 14, 2023. Signed for Attorney Mart uh, Roberto Martin Buenaventura, submitted. Notarized affidavit of undertaking that the PSA shall submit with the following criteria via Form 17. Via Form 17, affidavit of undertaking, signed and notarized, submitted. Bid bulletins number one and two. Bid bulletin number one, dated December 13, 2022. And bid bulletin number two, dated December 27, 2022, submitted. Legal clearance to be issued by the CAP Enforcement and Legal Service with respect to the non-pending cases of the prospective bidders against this authority. Legal clearance issued to GDS Security Agency, valid until June 14, 2023, submitted. Field jobs, certificate of registration and membership, platinum membership. Certificate of uh, field jobs registration, platinum membership, valid until March 9, 2023 consisting of three pages, submitted. Registration certificate from SEC, DTI for sole proprietorship, or CDA for cooperative, or any proof of such registration. SEC certificate of registration with company registration number CS9300013. Submitted. Mayors or business permit issued by the city or municipality where the principal place of business of the prospective bidders located or the equivalent document for exclusive economic zones or areas. Bis. Hold on. Uh, can you use the mic? Can you let him use the mic? Para kasi we're being stream online. Para po ma-record din po your manifestations. All right. Go ahead, please. Um, again, this business permit during the last... Uh, uh, bidding, um, the committee ruled out already that this document is already considered submitted. But we would like to uh, uh, inform the Vision Watch Committee to, to take note on the date that the, the official receipt for the business permit was issued. I think it was January 2. Yeah. 
January 2. Um, January 2, 2023 was declared by our president as a special non-working holiday. And I, I, our company, our, where I am working now, uh, we have a building located at Mandawi. And uh, we were trying to process our business permit. And during that day, we were not able to process because the local government unit was closed due to the holiday. And we just want to question the official receipt since it was issued dated January 2, 2023, wherein there were no employees at the city treasurer's office. That is all, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, um, we take note of the manifestation of ALA Security Agency, sir, and considering, sir, that uh, during the opening of BID, sir, we are only checking the existence of the sub, uh, document, uh, the presence or absence, and since GDS Security, sir, uh, attached the, the official receipt which is necessary in uh, uh, the acceptability of uh, their expired business permit, we will just conduct the a verification of this official receipt, Mr. Chair, during the conduct of the evaluation. Yes, uh, please do take note of this, and this is worth looking into. Uh, there's no way for us long to verify it at this moment, but uh, do put this on record. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Chair, will do. So they submitted a business permit, which is which is already expired, December 31, 2022. However, they attach an official receipt uh, coming from the city treasurer's office of the city of Mandawe dated 2023 with a timestamp 11 11 37. Submitted. Tax clearance per EO number 398 series of 2005 has finally reviewed and approved by the Bureau of Internal Revenue or BIR. Tax Steven certificate valid until uh, date of issuance is February 20. February 23rd, 2022. This is valid for one year from the date of issuance. Submitted. Audited financial statement for CY 2020 and 2021. Audited financial statement. Stamped received by BIR. March 12, 2021, submitted. Certified true copy of the PSA, valid and current regular license to operate, or LTO, as private security agency issued by the Philippine National Police Supervisory Office for Secur Security Investigation Agency, or PNP Socia. PSA, uh, private security agency regular license to operate with registration number PSA R 07165962 valid until October 31, 2024, issued by PNP Socia, submitted. Certified true copy of clearance of no derogatory record, certificate of no pending case as PSA issued by PNP Socia, which shall be valid during the submission and opening of beats. Certificate of no pending case issued by PNP Socia, dated December 19, 2022. Submitted. Certified true copy of valid and current certificate of registration as contractor issued to the bidder by the regional office of Dole, where it principally operates pursuant to Department Order Number 174, Series of 2017. Dollar Certificate of Registration with the registration number ROV11-2022-09-026-2023 ECFO issued to GDS Security. Valid for 30 days upon the issuance of... Uh, valid until December 20... November 30, 2024, submitted. The statement of all ongoing government and private contracts 
including contracts awarded but not yet started within the last three years prior to the deadline for the submission and receipt of beats. Via Form 3. Via Form 3, a statement of all ongoing government private contracts with signature submitted. Uh, sir, please use the mic. Uh, your Honor and to the Honorable Committee, uh, we would just like to make a manifestation because this will support our uh, uh, question regarding the document uh, as, as stated uh, a while ago that they, GDS is currently providing security service at CAAP, I think, Region 7. So this will support our 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 uh, uh, objection on uh, the said document. Uh, thank you very much, Your Honor. With all due respect, that's all. In. Please proceed. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Via Form Three, statement of all ongoing government private contracts, with signature of the authorized representative, submitted. Statement of the Bidder Single Largest Completed Contract, or SLCC, similar to the contract to be bid in accordance with the ITB Clause 5.4. The SLCC shall be equivalent to at least 50% of the ABC, with the, uh, with the largest of the similar contracts being equivalent to, the last, to, the, to at least 25% of the ABC and completed within the last three years. BF Form 4. BF Form 4, uh, Statement of uh, Bidder Single Largest Completed Contract, with signature of the authorized representative submitted. Financial documents for eligibility check, NFCC computation, or committed line of credit from a universal or commercial bank. BF Form 5. BF Form 5, uh, NFCC computation in the amount of 606,157,601 pesos and 11 centavos submitted. Bid securing declaration form as prescribed in GPPB resolution number 03-2012 or any form of bid security prescribed in BDS 18.1. Bid security in the form of bid securing declaration signed by the authorized representative and also duly notarized submitted. Compliance or conformity with bidding documents as enumerated and specified in Section 6, Schedule of Requirements, and Section 7, Technical Specification. Section 6, Schedule of Requirements with signature in Section 7, Technical Specifications. Also with signature submitted. Notarized certificate of satisfactory performance from at least three previous clients for the last three months. Notarized certificate of uh, satisfactory performance. Uh, first is from Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines uh, for the contract covering J July 1, 2016 to September 30, 2022, signed by the a representative and also notarized. Second is from Metropolitan Cebu Water District um, for the contract under 2023 to 2017 and under 2020, uh, 2017 to 2020 contracts signed by the acting general manager and also notarized. Okay. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, we would like to put this on record. So this is the document that we are questioning that uh, they did not, that they were not able to comply. Um, the this is regarding the notarized certificate of satisfactory performance from at least three previous client previous clients for the last three months prior to the opening of the bid. We would like. Your Honor, that this be put on record because this will be our continuing objection. Because we believe what is not included should is excluded. All right, this is noted and let this be recorded as a continuing uh, objection so that it may not, it need not be raised later on. All right, thank you. Thank okay. you. And noted, Mr. Chair. Yes, ma'am. Magandang maga po. 
Uh, with your respect, once po, sa pagkakaalam ko po, sa tagal-tagal ko na po nagbibiding, nagpa-participate sa bidding, once the Honorable Back Committee uh, agree the motion for reconciliation, it means lahat po yan waived na. So yes, ma'am, that's what I said earlier. And yes, this sir. is uh, this is being noted uh, because they're releasing yes, it so sir. that it will form part of our record that in the event that they wish to appeal it, this they will form they part they of our record. Yes, but the decision of the speak. back is... is uh, yes, sir. Uh, Don't worry. Po. Thank, Sige, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, sir, can we... Ano, kasi sobrang haba po nung uh, agenda natin. <laughs> we, know, we do note of the objection. Apo. Yes, go, go ahead. Okay. Uh, we take note on the manifestation of our uh, opponent. So, we don't question the decision of the back on your document, but it is our right as uh, the current service provider. And of course, because we complied on the said document, it is our right to raise this, this question, continuing objection. And it is now for the back committee to reconsider our objection. And we will contest this uh, decision, uh, the motion for reconsideration. Thank yes, you very po. much. Uh, po. Sige, po. Let's proceed. Okay, moving on. Uh, also, a certificate of satisfactory performance from Cebu Port Authority. Mm. This is for the period November 1, 2016, uh, which is until... Uh, September 30, 2022, and still a current provider, also notarized. And lastly, from Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center. Uh, this covers the beer July 1, 2018, up to the present, and this is also notarized, submitted. Okay. Okay. Okay, to continue. Um authority. Okay. Authority to conduct site inspection duly signed by ADG2, Chief CSIS, or his duly authorized representative, BF Form 6. Authority to conduct site inspection issued uh, by uh, the Chief of the uh, CSIS, um, General Banayat, last December 14, 2022, submitted. Certificate of Site Inspection, duly signed by the area or airport manager or CSIS area or airport supervisor or any airport facility officer in charge, be a Form 7, together with the following attachment, photocopy of company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection, and photocopy of the airport or facility visitor's logbook. Uh, certificate of Site Inspection for Tacloban Airport. Uh, the site inspection was conducted by... Mr. Enad, and attached is the company ID and the logbook of Tacloban Airport with the entry name of Mr. Enad. Certificate of Site Inspection. Uh, this is for Calbayog Airport. Also, the site inspection was also conducted by Mr. Enad. Together, uh, attached also is the company ID and the visitor's logbook of Calbayog Airport with the entry name of Mr. Enad here. For, for Katarman Airport, Company ID and the visitor's logbook with the entry name of Mr. Enad. The next is for uh, Ormok Airport. The inspection was done, was conducted by Mr. Berdin. 
company ID and the visitor's logbook of Ormuk Airport. Ah, go ahead, this. Um, I'm so sorry. Uh, the one who conducted inspection, the inspection is um, S.O. Eric Enad. But in the authority to conduct inspection, Enad was not specified. Uh, the one um, there. It was only um, S.O. Berdin. Mr. Chair, we'll check the provisions in the bids, uh, bid document, sir. This is the provision, Mr. Chair, that concerns the manifestation of uh, the uh, Bidder Alas Security Agency. Uh, I'd like to read. Authority to conduct site inspection via Form 6, duly signed by ADG2, Chief CSIS, or his duly authorized representative, and certificate of site inspection via Form 7, duly signed by the area or airport manager or CSIS, area or airport supervisor or any airport or facility officer in charge are required to be submitted. The bidder must also submit to CSIS its own security plan for the air, uh, for airports or facilities duly signed by the, by the certified security practitioner of the bidder. This shall include all of the following documents as attachment to the certificate of site inspection and shall, and shall form part of the bidder's technical documents. Photocopy of the company ID of the person who conducted the site inspection and photocopy of the airport or facility visitor's logbook. Um, in the submitted authority to conduct site inspection, Mr. Chair, uh, the CSIS uh, chief only authorizes uh, Mr. Joselito. Bed Berdin and uh, ah, they also have the certificate of site inspection, the other one, sir. So, Mr. Enad and Mr. Berdin are, are the authorized representative of uh, GDS Security Agency to conduct uh, the site inspection. 
uh, for these airports, Mr. Chair. All right, let's proceed, please. Thank you, sir. So, again, uh, this is for Tacloban Airport. The company ID and the Citrus Logbook. For Calbayog Airport. Company ID and the visitor's logbook. For Katarman Airport, company ID of Mr. Enad and the visitor's logbook of the airport. For Ormok Airport, company ID of Company ID of Mr. Berdin and the visitor's logbook. Very small. For Maasin Airport, visitor's logbook and company ID. For Bilivan Airport, inspection was conducted by Mr. Berdin. Visitor's logbook with the entry name of Mr. Berdin. Romeo Berdin. For Katmalogan Airport, Mr. Enad and his ID, the entry in the logbook. For Borongan Airport, company ID and the visitor's logbook. For Giwan Airport, company ID and the visitor's logbook. For Hilongos Air Airport, Certificate of Site Inspection, the Visitor's Logbook of the Airport, and the Company ID. Um, submitted, all, all submitted. Security plan duly signed by certified security practitioner for airport or facility. Security plan for Tacloban Airport. Signed by Mr. and Don and certified correct by the authorized representative. This is for Calbayog Airport. It was assigned and with signature of the authorized representative. For Katarman Airport. And then for Ormuk Airport, this will do the sign. This is for Maasin Airport. Wind signature. For Bilivan Airport, with signature, for 
Forgot Balogan Airport. The design. For G1 Airport. Also with signature. And lastly, for Hilongos Airport. Also with signature. Submitted. Company profile and organizational structure of private security agencies indicating the names of, it, of its key agency officers. BF Form 8. BF Form 8. Company profile and organizational structure submitted with signature submitted. Security management expertise and experience of key agency officers and personnel including possible chief of operations for CAAP. Security management expertise and key personnel agent uh, of the agency. Sign together with the bio data or CV of the officers. Submitted. Latest monthly disposition report or MDR stamp received by PNP Socia for three consecutive months prior to the submission and opening of bids. MDR for the month of Thank you. for the month of December, Bato. Mm. Huh? Tama, December. First is for the month of December, stamped received by BIR. I know, uh, by PNP Socia, I'm sorry. 12-29-2022. Ah. For the month of November, stamped received by PNP Socia, December 12, 2022. For the month of October, stamp received last November 11, 2022, submitted. Certificate of availability of the required firearms and ammunition to be supplied by the private security agency for firearms not yet available or under purchase agreement. Attached notarized letter of a commitment from supplier to supply the firearms if awarded the contract. BF Form 9. BF Form 9, Certificate of Availability of Required Firearms, with signature, submitted. Certificate of Availability of the Required Communication Equipment to be supplied by the private security agency for communication equipment not yet available or under purchase agreement, attached notarized letter of commitment from supplier to supply the communication equipment if awarded a contract. BF Form 10. BF Form 10, Certificate of Availability of Required Communication Equipment, with signature submitted. Certificate of availability of the required transportation or vehicle to be supplied by the private security agency, BF Form 11. BF Form 11, certificate of availability of required transportation or vehicle with signature submitted. Certificate of availability of the required other supplies, equipment for a furnalia to be supplied by the private security agency, BF Form 12. Cert Go ahead, please. Um, certification for the firearms, it should include the um, certification, notarized letter of commitment. Is there, is there any from the supplier? 
department that they do. So the requirement, Mr. Chair, is the certificate of availability of required firearms and ammunition to be supplied by the private security agency for firearms not yet available or under purchase agreement attach notarized letter of, communi of commitment from supplier to supply the firearms if awarded the contract. Uh, the submission, Mr. Chair, is the certificate of availability of the required firearms. So uh, we deem this sufficient, Mr. Chair. Because this is like on the alternative lang po. Or lang po, ma'am, nakalagay. Permission to proceed, sir? Yeah, go ahead, please. Okay. Okay, um, to continue, sir. Clearance uh, certificate. Valid as of the date of submission and opening of bids where the principal place of business of the prospective bidder is located and the uh, agency documents indicating the latest payments of the following. Number one, Social Security System or SSS. Clearance certificate from Social Security System. Signed by Mr. Chavez, the acting head of uh, VCLD. Submitted. Clearance Certificate from Home Development and Mutual Fund or HDMF.ebig. Please use the mic uh, for request purposes. In, uh, in the SSS clearance, it's, it is stated August 2022, <coughs> but uh, here, so it is valid. Yeah, it is valid for 90 days, but um, it is stated here in the uh, checklist, you have to include the latest payment of uh, for all the benefits, the statutory benefits. The requirement, Mr. Chair, is clearance certificate valid as of date of submission and, and opening of bids where the principal place of business of the prospective bidder is located and agency document indicating the latest payment of requirement uh, payments of the following social security system. So the only submission, Mr. Chair, is the SS experience. With um, contributions for applicable months June, July, and August. Uh, at the bottom, Mr. Chair, it is indicated here that this clearance is only va is valid only for a period of 90 days from the date of issuance. The... The, 
the document is issued last October 20s, so October, November, December. I think Frank, uh, what they're uh, raising here is the latest payments, yes. uh, not necessarily that uh, uh, fine print. Yes. So these uh, these items indicated do these constitute latest payments in so far as our requirements is concerned? Yun yung, that's what we're settling here. Mr. Chair, um, as indicated in this uh, SSS clearance, sir, uh, the latest payment made by GDS Security is August 2022. And based on uh, the requirement, Mr. Chair, uh, the document should only indicate the latest payment they made, but not necessarily... It should be the current month of the date of submission. That is why um, during the post-qualification or, uh, post or the evaluation, uh, the technical working group usually validates this document. That is why we deem this acceptable, the fact that uh, what is indicated is the latest payment only, not necessarily the current month of submission. Okay, sir, do you have any manifestation? Oh. Mike, what? Was, uh, oh, was 2022. It should be November 2022. It should be indicated there. So how can it be clear for November? We have a supporting document. And which we complied. I am sorry, but uh, we have to... That's not it, sir. So what's the recommendation of the TWG? Um, in other uh, bits that uh, we do have Mr. Share, uh, provided that they, prov uh, they indicated the latest payment, the, the last payment that they do have, and that the, cur uh, uh, that, that the certificate that they issued is still valid, we deemed it acceptable, Mr. Chair. So with that, uh, we are still, uh, we maintain our position uh, consistent with our previous uh, meetings that uh, this document be accepted, subject to, of course, the evaluation, uh, I mean, validation during the evaluation process. All right. Uh, considering that, that we're only dealing with the pass or fail criteria on the presence or absence and that the veracity of the manifestation needs to be verified further, uh, let this be put on record and noted and be part of the evaluation, uh, post-qualification. Uh, should uh, should this be there be eva further evaluated? Okay, let's proceed, please. Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Na, nabasa ko lang kasi sir yung instruction the ma'am pwede po ba sir yung instruction yung po uh, yung location po na, na where the principal place of business of prospector reader is located in the agency documents indicating less payment so dapat po kung saan ang opisina ng isang ahensya, nandoon din po yung ano, pa-check na link din po in case lang po na may time. Salamat po. Yes, ma'am. This will likewise be noted sa, and form yes, part of Mr. the records. Salamat okay. po. Thank you. SSS clearance um, issued by Attorney Marie Chavez, acting head of VLCD of SSS Visayas Central Legal Department submitted.
clearance certificate from Home Development and Mutual Fund, HDMF, or Pag-ibig? Uh, Pag-ibig, uh, clearance certificate issued to GDS. Submitted, one year. Uh, valid for one year, uh, indicated here from the date of issue once, uh, date submitted. Yes, sir. We'll take note of that, sir. And that is not the latest, 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 uh, is the they were able to acquire a clearance when their, their contribution responded until April 2022. So that will be subjected to postcode, of course, but in this document, it does not satisfy, you know, the requirement. April 2022. Mr. Chair, we take note of the manifestation of Allah Security Agency, sir, and permission to proceed, sir. All right, this is noted. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Pagibig clearance certificate, which is valid from uh, one year uh, from the date of its issuance, May 2022. Submitted. Yes, sir. Noted, sir. Clearance certificate from Philippine Health Insurance Corporation, or PhilHealth. Certification issued by Philippine Health Insurance Corporation. Clearance is very important for us as, uh, uh, as a business entity that we diligently uh, remit our contribution to this government agency. And if they, this Border's Sun Security Agency will submit a clearance, na yung pinaka latest nga is April, August. Ano tayo magkakaroon ng official fine dito na itong agency na to ay nagre-remit ba kung sa mga guardia niya? Parang yung post-call pa natin i-consider na baka nagbabayad sila. But for purposes of, for purposes of this meeting, dapat latest na nila na na remove the list of the GBS in this qualify for non-submission of a very important uh, Document, these are clearances. Kami, nagkakaroon kami ng problema. Sabi niya, matagal na siya nag, uh, nagpa-participate. But our company has been in business, a family corporation, we've been in this business since 1986. And we've been in CAAP since 2010. Okay, sir, that's noted. Uh, TWG, what do you have to say? Uh, for this, Mr. Chair, we also uh, deem this uh, an acceptable submission for the meantime, subject to uh, post-qualification or validation, considering, sir, that uh, in also in uh, other documents, sir, we accepted the certification. Mr. Chair, uh, um, may we request for an executive session, sir, first? Okay, let's have an executive session, please. Welcome back, bidders. Okay. Uh, online, na po, sir. We're back, sir. We're back online, sir.
So the committee has already decided on uh, the acceptability of uh, the clearances uh, issued from the various agencies uh, such as the SSS, Pag-IBIG, and PhilHealth. And considering that there are submissions that are, uh, I mean, there are certificates which are still dated May of 20, uh, May 2022, uh, the committee decided not to accept this as a uh, submission or not in conformity with what is indicated in the checklist, which is the latest payment of uh, uh latest payment of the bidder in the following agencies. So with that, uh, the, the bid submission of, of uh, GDS security agency is uh, disqualified on the ground that uh, it is not, uh, the certificate uh, submission are not uh, the latest payments of the following agencies, SSS, PhilHealth, and Pag-EB. Um, with that, Mr. Chair, uh, the technical working group now is recommending for the disqualification of GDS Security Agency for failure to comply uh, the uh, requirements under TAB S4, which is, ah, no, TAB T, uh, T1, T2, T3, and T4, uh, which is the Given certificate uh, indicating the latest payments uh, for consideration and approval, sir. Okay, and a motion. Motion, Mr. Chair. Go ahead. I move to I, sorry, sir. <laughs> move to adopt the recommendation of the TWG for the disqualification of GDS uh, uh, Security Services for uh, for the aforesaid uh, reasons, Mr. Chair. Okay, any second? Okay, uh, moved and seconded. Motion adopted, so be there disqualified. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. The representative of GDS, uh, ma'am, uh, will you be filing your motion for reconsideration po? Okay po. Meron po kayong three calendar days from today to submit your written uh, motion for reconsideration. Po. Meantime po, we will be sealing your documents. So with that, Mr. Chair, we'll be moving uh, to the opening of the financial document of ALA Security Agency. Permission to proceed, sir. Okay, proceed. The submitted financial component of ALA Security Services has tabbings, pagination, and signature or initials on each page. Checklist, please. Checklist for the financial component. Bill of Quantities, BF Form 16. BF Form 16, Bill of Quantities. Uh, With signature submitted. Financial proposal. Uh, financial proposal submission sheet, BF Form 15. BF Form 15, financial proposal submission sheet with signature submitted. Bid form, BF 14. Bid form uh, with signature of the authorized representative the, with a bid amount of 44 million. 435,507 pesos and 4 centavos. It's 44 million, 435 pesos and 507 pesos and 4 centavos. This is below the ABC of the project. Um, 
the technical working group now, Mr. Chair, is uh, recommending for the conduct of bid evaluation for this proposal of ALAS Security Agency, ALAS Security Services Incorporated, with a submitted bid amount of 44 million 435 pesos, uh, 435,507 pesos and 4 centavos. Um, to a certain completeness of bids and to determine if there are mathematical or arithmetical corrections for consideration and approval of the committee, sir. Thank you. Motion, please. Motion, Mr. Chair. I move for the adoption of the recommendation of TVG for the conduct of bid evaluation of the, of the submitted bid. Noted. Okay. Second the motion, Mr. Chair. All right. Motion adopted. Thank you. Um, to the bidders, we will just inform you of the outcome of the bid evaluation. Po. Maraming salamat po for participating. Thank you. Ay, ma'am. Sir, uh, 